Hi, I'm Mal and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe. I post Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus video and that would be a open invite which is many YouTubers collabing together for a challenge or it would just be a collaboration where I go with uh, I collab with one of my YouTube friends here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. I thought I would film this because um, well, my granddad died last, no, it would be two weeks, two Fridays ago for you, but for me right now it is literally last Friday. Uh, this is something like the third, I believe it was. Yeah, the third. My granddad died on the third of, of May, 2019 and I have always wanted or for a while I've always I've wanted my rook pierced and never really got round to having it done and I've had my rook pierced for my granddad uh, or to remind me of my granddad now I'm not really into tattoos as much as I'd love one I'd probably pass out with just having a dot on my hand or wherever I had it so I but with piercings I seem okay and obviously a piercing if I don't want it in the future I can get rid of it more easy than a tattoo so I put this and also it's got a meaning to it so when my granddad used to work he worked and he made tubing I'm pretty sure it was gold tubing for jewellery um, and other things as well but jewellery mainly and so you can't actually pick up anything he made anymore um, I, I tried to google the company and everything to see where I could buy something from but I just can't so having a bit of jewellery in me kind of represents what my granddad used to do so it is silver because there was no gold and I do wear silver more but it's a bit of jewellery and that's what he used to make so I thought I would film this for you I didn't film having my actual piercing done because it wasn't allowed to but I've experienced I've filmed this whole week of me going to have it after it and you name it along the way so I hope you enjoy I hope I've shared everything if you have any questions please let me know and I will answer them or do another video for you I would like some more piercing so that may be a possibility too so just let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and I would also advise anywhere cartilage you have it done at a proper piercing place not Claire's anywhere like that and ask them if they use a needle rather than a gun because having using a gun isn't very good for anywhere of your cartilage area okay it's fine for your piercings on your lobes but not anywhere here I'll show you it now this is my rook so yeah any questions you have then just let me know and I show you a bit about how I'm cleaning it, how I'm keeping it, what it's like to have it and how it's affected me in this first week and it's actually feeling much better now so though it may not look it, it is, I'm feeling, not me personally but my ear is better so I hope you enjoy. Today I have just gone and had my rook pierced um, and we're going to show you a bit now of what my rook is um, and then I'll go through like the procedure I guess so if you didn't know I've been wanting my rook and my tragus done for ages and I went for the rook today and I have had this pierced um, in my left ear and this is basically something to remember my granddad and that's why I've had this done it costs 20 pounds which I think is pretty reasonable and it's a silver piercing a uh, silver earring through or bar through should I say um which is good because I'm allergic to the earrings they pierce your ears with so silver is totally fine for me and so is gold so that's why we went for that um and it literally was over within five minutes well it was in five seconds even um, so I had to go in and fill out the form. I had it done at a local tattoo parlour, actually. The lady did my um, helix piercing about 
12 years ago, I would say, maybe more than that. I was 16 at the time. So she did that. So I was used to her have doing that. But my dad came with me because I'm a wuss and don't like injections, needles and stuff. He held my hand. But literally, she cleaned my ear. She then numbed it, which... To be fair, it wasn't that numb, so I felt it all, so maybe you wouldn't have to have that. But it felt, if you haven't had like your cartilage pierced, it felt, it feels worse than your like main earrings you'd have done. And even now it really stings and it bled loads. So it's about a five minute journey back up the road to my mum and dad's house. I'm literally going to floristry, so I just went and had it done now. And it was literally a five minute in and out and I was done so she couldn't put plaster or anything on it so she just gave me tissue and it just the blood was trickling out both sides and just down my ear and I've just had to change clothes because I had blood down the front of me as well um but that's stopped now and it's probably about an hour after I had it done um, and then I'm, I just have to keep it in for 6 to 12 weeks and then I can swap it out. But I have to have an earring in there for 6 months. Um, and then I can take it out and have days without, but it has to be in for 6 months. And I've had a larger or longer in length bar because I have to pierce it with a longer one for swelling. So in the future I can get a smaller bar, which I've seen on Etsy that I'd like anyway. But I'm going to go through a bit with you. Um, on like how I'm cleaning it etc to go through it I would definitely say you should get it done it was over within seconds it pinched really like bad and it did hurt and it still tingles now but obviously I'll let you know tomorrow what it's like like sleeping on it and stuff and I don't have to clean it tonight I only need to clean it three times a day from tomorrow and I've got the instructions downstairs but yeah my mum just filmed my actual ear so yeah we'll see what what happens tonight before bed and then tomorrow in the morning so i've just got home from floristry it is half past nine um and we're gonna get ready to go to bed uh like shower and chill out just go to bed because i'm really tired <laughs> but it stings do you know like i don't know how to explain this but there's nothing on the back of my ear like it doesn't go through the whole ear but it just stings and then it's just painful i think it's more the top one the top half than the bottom half but i'm not sure it that's where it feels like it stings anyway but it's just like a a sting pain type pain you know it's just annoying rather than like painful and um, I've just been to floristry, obviously, since from seven till nine, from seven till nine. And, you know, when you're distracted, you, you don't really think about it. So I hope I sleep all right tonight. I tend to actually lay on that side. So we'll see. But apparently it's not meant to hurt, but it does sting quite a bit at the moment. But then again, it's fresh, it's brand new. So good morning. So I've just got out of bed get, to get ready for work. Um, it is really sore. I slept really well and I normally lay on this side, um, which actually I thought I'd be able to do. But what I do is I snuggle up in my duvet that much that I had the extra padding of my duvet across my ear. Now it does, I think, look like it's bled a little bit, but it hasn't come out on my white sheets. So I'm going to clean it now. So I boiled the kettle about half an hour ago and it's still quite warm now. So um, I've added some salt to it to add the salt water and I have to do this three times a day. And I'm just going to clean the um, piercing and around my ear basically. I will try and show you my ear through the mirror um, and we can go from there. Right, I'll try and zoom in on my on my actual editing but that is it you can probably see a bit more actually but it's re just really crusty red around this one i don't can't really see anything on that one but it's just sort of touch and it's just a little bit of pain behind my ear but other than that it's good so i'm going to clean it now so i've just got a little 
pot that I found in the kitchen and I've just put a bit of the boiling water that's like still quite warm with the salt in um, and I've got a common wall bud and I'm just going to clean it now. So it is quarter past five now and I've just got home. I've just put my dinner in the oven and put the kettle on so I can clean my ear again because I need to do it three to three times a day i'm pretty sure it's what he said i need to find a bit of paper i don't know where i put it um the only thing that i've really noticed today is that i well my phone at work is on the left hand side and i naturally pick up my phone on with my left hand and listen in my left ear as soon as you put that just to touch your ear it stings so it was quite often me either just sparing with it or swapping ears but that's fine um other than that it's not really hurt it's just stung a little bit and I quite often play with this, just to fiddle with it. Um, and so just obviously I'm fiddling, I've got to be careful with my, this ear. But I'll show you what it looks like now in the inside. Um, and then I'll clean it again like I did this morning. Um, and we'll see from there. So this is it. I'm pretty sure there's probably some blood, dry blood around it. But I'll just clean that off once it is ready to go. Uh, cool down a little bit but yeah so I was meant to film a little bit earlier just to say that I was gonna have a shower I didn't need to wash my hair last night so I just had a bath or like a wash just didn't touch my hair or anything but it stings but it didn't hurt at all washing it for the first time not as in washing it but I mean having shampoo and stuff go through it and actually it looks better now for having the shampoo and that and it, washing it through it looks much cleaner um which i'll show you it was a little bit uh pink earlier which has completely gone down now and it just feels like the dried blood like mankiness that was behind the top one especially um it's, it's gone so it's perfect um but yeah and anyway i just wanted to give you an update on that um it's really it was really hurt uh, it hurt when i put um tur like my hair up in the turban when i uh, had washed it like the towel it hurt because it goes across my ear but other than that, it was totally fine. Okay, it's Thursday morning now. I slept really well. It didn't hurt, well, it hurt at first, but then I kind of sleep on my left side anyway, and it was fine this morning. It didn't hurt at all. And it's a little bit sore to touch there, but other than that, and the top of my ear, but other than that. So I wasn't going to film the cleaning this morning, and I probably won't um, much of it anyway. But... I'm not allergic to it because it's silver, but it's like my ear is bruised around the top anyway. So I'll try and show you it. Can you see like the, the darkness? Um, and I don't know why, I'm going to clean it obviously and see if that helps, but... Why on earth is it gone like blacky grey? It could be that I had a shower last night and the pen bits like rubbed off a little bit more. But that's where she obviously went through with the ear. I really don't know. So anyway, I'll try and clean it now. Just thought I'd share it with you that it could get bruised, if that is a bruise. Um, it's only me here, so it's only me that can see if it is or not. I mean, we'll ask Laurie at work and see if she knows. But yeah. So I just wanted to come on here and say that it's Sunday now as I'm editing this and my ear is totally fine. It's still slightly bruised and all the blood's come away but it's completely fine to talk on the phone, uh, lay down, everything. I'm just going to continue cleaning it for the three months basically. And that is it for today's video. If you liked it please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like your rook pierced. Or what else would you like pierced? There is quite a few that I would like and I'm kind of really into piercings at the moment. I've actually started a new board on Pinterest. My Pinterest is down below if you want to follow that, please do. 
um, and look out at all the randoms that I've got on there. Yeah, and comment if you comment down below if you'd like your rook done or if you'd like somewhere else. What piercings do you have on your body at the moment? So obviously I've got my first two pit earrings, my helix and my rook done. I've got two on this ear as well, just the two piercings. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.